Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on resistance seam welding process. So let us start with the working principle of seam welding. So just you can see the figure. So in a seam welding process, AC power supply is being used. So this AC power supply, the one of the terminals which will be connected with a roller ejector. So just you can see this is the front view of the figure and this one is your side view. So in a seam welding process, the point electrode that will be replacing by a roller electrode which is made of a conductive materials. So here the upper rollers or you can say upper roller electrodes is being movable and this lower electrode that will be fixed. So you can easily adjusting the both the rollers with respect to the different thickness of the workpiece materials. So just you can see after passing a AC power source towards the both the roller electrodes. So what happens? It will be the flow of the current and after some times it will be making a resistance in between the two sheet metals. So just you can see here it will be the sheet metal one and here it will be the sheet metal Two. So after passing the current, it will be making a resistance of the current. So heat is being generating and after making a pressure with the help of hydraulic systems or you can use a cylinder piston systems. So that will be making a joint in between sheet metals. So in a steam welding process, it will be making a continuous pot. And also you can controlling the temperature of these electrode materials. So you can use a nozzle for spraying a water. So just you can see in case of seam welding, which is the category of resistance welding process in which the overlapping workpiece are held under a pressure. So just you can see both the plate of one and two that will be making a overlapping conditions. So basically seam welding is only performing for a lab joints. So that will be known as a series of spot wells. So it will be making a continuous joint onto a sheet metals. The seam welding is a similar to spot welding process, but instead of pointed electrodes, the mechanically driven wheels shaped electrode are used to produce a continuous weld. Or you can say that point electrodes now it will be replacing by a roller electrodes. So just you can see the overall machines. So starting from the upper side, so that will be the motor driven systems and it will be a wheel electrodes. So wheel, it will be the upper side wheel, which will be movable and this lower side wheel that will be fixed. So as per the my requirements, it will be adjusted by a thickness. So just you can see into other side, that will be the seat number one and seat number two and that will be your electrode materials. So that electrode materials, it will be connected with a AC power supply. So upper electrode, it will be movable. So you can easily adjusting the distance between two rollers. And after passing the current, it will be making a resistance of the flow of the current in between a two sheet metals. So what happens? It will be increasing a heat. And by the application of the pressure, joint it will be carried out. So just you can see, that will be the foot speed is being available. So with the help of this foot switch, it will be the application of the pressure and you can get a continuous spot weld onto a sheet metals. Then descriptions and operations. So just you can see the two workpiece to be joined are clean to remove dirt, grease and other oxides either chemically or mechanically to obtain a sound weld. So that will be the necessary conditions for each and every welding process. The workpiece are overlapped and placed firmly between the two wheel shaped copper alloy electrodes. So which in turns are connected to a secondary circuit or you can say step down transformer. The electrode wheels are driven mechanically in the opposite directions with the workpiece passes through between them. While at the same time the pressure on the joint is to be maintained. So by the rotation wise both the roller electrode which will be into opposite directions. Then welding current is passed in a series of the pulse at proper intervals through a bearing of the roller electrode wheels. 
as the current passes through the electrodes what happens to the workpiece so heat is generated in a air gap at the point of the contact or you can say spot between the two workpieces so just you can see that will be the area so at that area it will be making a air gap and due to that air gap it will be a heat generation so these heat melts the workpiece locally at the contact point to form a spot weld pressure is applied by air spring or you can say hydraulically systems so this is the basic principle so under the pressure of the continuous rotating electrodes and a current flowing through them a series of the overlapping spots welds are made progressively along the joints the weld area is flooded with a water to keep the electrode wheels cool during the welding process so such things it will be whenever it will be necessary then you can use it usually it will be not found into the workshop some of the advantages a continuous overlapping weld produced by the process makes it suitable for joining a liquid or gas tight containers and vessels so most of the critical conditions it will be joined by a steam welding process efficient energy is being used filler metals are not required hence no associated fumes or you can say gases so this result it will be gives a clean and sound weld some of the disadvantages requires complex control systems to regulate the travel speed of electrode as well as the sequence of the current to provide satisfactorily overlapping welds the welding speed spots per inch and a timing schedules are all dependent on to each others difficult to weld metals having a thickness greater than 3 mm so that will be the most common limitations of seam welding process some of the applications used for fabricate liquid or gas tight sheet metal vessels as a uh, gasoline tanks heat exchangers so i hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching